Hello my debauchers friends. In today's video, size matters. We're going to be talking about why this cigar and this cigar taste very different from each other. First, let's light up a cigar. Now in my hands, I hold two different Vitolas of the same cigar, the Rocky Patel 60. This right here is the 6x60 Gordo, and this right here is the 5.5x50 Robusto. The first time I smoked the 6x60 Gordo, I enjoyed it very much, and I smoked it all the way down to the nub, which for me is a huge compliment, because normally I smoke it down to like the last fifth of the cigar, and then I put it out. Don't get mad at me, please. And when I did that, I posted it on my Instagram saying something to the effect. After I said that, underscore broadleaf underscore commented, Ah, uh, I like this new 60. I find that the smaller the Vitola, the more I enjoy it. Flavors on a 6x60 get a little muddied in my opinion. But the short little Robusto brings the heat. First off, props to Broadly for recognizing from a small Instagram photo that that was the 6x60 Gordo. Good on ya. Second of all, that got me really excited to try the Robusto size. Not just me, but a couple of my friends too. They also like the 6x60 Gordo size. So we went and got the Robusto and turns out we weren't the biggest fans. It was actually a very different experience than the Gordo size. Now this wasn't like we got a bad version of it or anything because this was only about a week later we went to the same shop where all the cigars are kept in the same condition and we got the Robusto size. And like I said, not a big fan. Typically I smoke larger ring gauges because I don't like my cigars burning too hot and I like to taste the nuances of the flavors. Also you get a little bit more tobacco for the money. Now this all happened before I went out to TPE 2022 in Las Vegas and had the opportunity to talk to cigar gurus like Steve Saka. And I asked him exactly what the different Vitolas mean when it comes to flavor. And this is what he had to say. <clears throat> These are direct quotes from Steve Saka himself. The longer it is, it tends to start off milder but finish stronger because you have more tars built up in that cigar. Shorter cigars like a Robusto start off with a pop because it's closer to your mouth. Smaller ring gauge cigars smoke stronger because they burn hotter than a wider ring gauge cigar. And finally, he said, branch out. You will find that certain blends are better in certain sizes. Don't start buying boxes until you're a couple years in and really know which brands you like and which Vitolas. And that's some solid advice coming from one of the biggest names in the industry. Now with that advice, I gather that something like this nub would be a great suggestion for a newer smoker. It is shorter so you'll get less tar buildup, like Saka said, as well as it's a thicker ring gauge so it'll smoke cooler and you get more nuances and less of the uh, strength of the cigar. Likewise, with that same advice, if you want a really strong experience, a Lancero is probably better for you. It is very thin, so it's going to burn hotter, and it's very long, so you're going to get a lot of that tar buildup towards the end. So if you want to work your way up towards a very strong cigar experience, look no further than the Lancero. After that, I asked Mr. Saka if the blend changes according to the size, and he said it can. From that conversation, I kind of got the feeling that he was saying that some cigars are less complex than others. That doesn't mean they don't taste better or worse, but they're just less complex, which means a manufacturer can keep the same flavor profile throughout the whole line of cigars, whether it be a Petite Corona all the way up to a Super Gordo. 
However, if that cigar has a very complex flavor profile with a lot of different types of leaves in the blend, a blender might have to change the profile of the cigar when he's making smaller or larger sizes. Meaning that when going from a Gordo to a Lancero, they might have to take out some of the spicier or sweeter leaves in that cigar, changing the overall experience. Now because of all these different changes between sizes and blends can vary from cigar to cigar, that's why you get people like Broadleaf and I agreeing that we love the same cigar, but in different sizes. If you've had different experiences with the same cigar in different sizes, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. If you got something out of this video, please hit that subscribe button. We're going to try our best to bring you good content like this going forward. Enjoy your smoke. Terrible start. La Aroma de Cuba. La Aroma de Cuba.